Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to show you how one from No Fire uh, this uh, evening, uh, about uh, two or three minutes back, to a fire without using any chemicals, and how I always do this. So let me go ahead and set this up. So what I like to do is I like to use my little flamethrower. I have no idea what the name of this was, but I bought it 11 years back for actually killing weeds. Uh, I didn't like to use chemicals and I use it to start my fires camping all the time. This can get any fire going in a, a matter of minutes and the propane is very inexpensive and uh, very easy to operate. You got a self igniter right there which worked till about three or four months back until the kids broke it and I had a little valve right there that you turn uh, right where my finger is and that lets the gas out. Now I'm able to go and uh, get my fire nice and hot and throw on bigger logs. So I like to use this in my fire pit. The fire pit I went ahead and I made this out of rocks uh, about a year back. Uh, just because I wanted something that wasn't going to take away from the area. And I wanted, didn't want to create more trash and uh, just had a bunch of rocks around. So piled them up. And I've really used this almost sometimes three, four times a week. Uh, I get a lot of company that just wants to come over and hang out in the backyard here. We we have a bigger property here. And so people like to come over and camp and uh, just hang out without any rules and having to, to pitch a tent. They can go inside and uh, use the normal restroom after, after uh, an evening by the fire. So... The fire pit out of rocks, really great idea. If you want to go ahead and cook out here, you really want to get a, a grill like this. And I'll have a link to the flamethrower and to the grill in the description below. This is one I bought. It was pretty inexpensive, under 40 bucks. Really great quality. I did a lot of research on it. Tried a couple of different ones. And uh, this was a keeper right here. Uh, you're able to swivel it out of the way when you're not using it. You can make height adjustments on the spot without any tools. And when you're cooking and you load this guy up, you can go ahead and load it up with steaks. I'm pushing down on this with my arm right now, and it's not budging. It was really easy to put in. And if I ever, uh, when I go camping sometimes, I'll actually take this guy with me. He just pulls straight out of the ground. And uh, very easy. It doesn't take up a lot of room in the car. And uh, I just, uh, I don't use any kind of special wood for my campfires. This is whatever I find around the property. My wood, a lot of times, is not seasoned. So I really need something that can get the fire going. This guy does the job. We just cut down a total of eight oaks. And I got all the wood. I just stockpiled it here. I'm going to tarp, tarp it up for the, for the winter. So I got a lot of wood to burn. But I sometimes just burn twigs, whatever I have. Uh, firewood is pretty expensive where I live uh, But let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your comments and your suggestions and uh, If you like the video give it a thumbs up Thanks for watching and check out my other video on actually cooking with this guy and some of the food that I prepare. Have a wonderful day